Next, we're going to cover some advanced topics, including advanced administration settings, smart e-solutions, and the configuration utility. On this screen, you can set preferences for the Centerware web user interface. Here, the administrator can also customize printer features by enabling or disabling clone, upgrade, and auto drive download. On this screen as well, you can elect to continue to use the icons from the device or specify a custom location. As you are aware, there are a number of device statuses which require various levels of attention. You have the ability on this screen to choose those statuses which are most important to you and position them as the first ones that will appear on the screen. This should save time when managing any number of devices. For example, you would likely want to ensure that a No Toner Inc. message is displayed prominently, whereas a Door Open message may not be as essential to display on the top. Custom allow you to enable a filter as an aid to target the specific problem you may be having with your site, or as an aid to further identify a location. For example, you could add an internal location code here, which would act as a second location for a device. With regards to historical data, it's important that you retrieve data at intervals that strike the right balance between often enough to capture issues, but not so often that you have an excess number of records. It's important to select reasonable parameters to ensure you only retain historical data as far back as you need and have the data cleared at a set interval. This will help manage the size of your database. Enabling Smart E-Solutions with Centerware Web allows you to provide automatic meter reports and automatic supplies or replenishment information back to Xerox. As described on the slide, make sure you navigate to the email and external servers page to complete the prerequisite setups. Enabling Smart E-Solutions with Centerware Web allows you to provide automatic meter reports and automatic supplies or replenishment information back to Xerox. As described on the slide, make sure you navigate to the email and external servers page to complete the prerequisite setups. The Centerware Web Installer will create the Centerware Web user by default in order to administer the local server's print queues. The account is placed into the administrator's group. The Centerware Web user will only be able to access the local server and printers associated with the local server. This configuration utility serves a number of purposes. It provides the following. The ability to change the Centerware Web user password. The ability to change the account that runs Centerware Web. The ability to change the SQL server name and port. And finally, the ability to import Centerware Web data and export it for a variety of reasons. For example, upgrading or multiple versions of Centerware Web. This screen displays the ability to change the Centerware Web user password. The Centerware Web Account Change Account is an important feature used to access queues outside of the local server for managed print servers and Active Directory seen in the queues view. With the proper permissions, this feature will allow the Centerware Web user access to devices and server in the specified domain. This area is used to change the SQL-related properties, including the SQL Server Database and the SQL Server Account information. This area is used to change the SQL Server source location and provides the ability to use a different port than the default. This screen illustrates the configuring of importing and exporting Centerware Web Databases. This capability may be needed for backups, upgrades, and load balancing across multiple Centerware Web servers. The backup process creates SQL backup files for each database. It is important to note that both of these files are required when choosing to use for backup. Please refer to the installation guide for additional details. This screen illustrates choosing a location for the export of your existing Centerware web database. This displays current Internet Information Services data in addition to Centerware web virtual directory.